Forget spring and summer. Autumn may be the best time to grow vegetables in containers. Hi, I'm Gardener Scott, a master gardener who discusses everything gardening so that you can become a better gardener. And today, let's talk about starting a fall container vegetable garden. When I refer to a fall garden, even in containers, I'm talking about the method of starting seeds or transplants during the summer months to grow into the fall with an autumn harvest in mind. And the containers can be anything. The idea is we're not growing in a permanent bed, in the ground or in a raised bed, but we're using portable containers, be they buckets or grow bags, or pots of any size. The key being portability. Now, this is technically a container that I'm growing my mint in, but this isn't what I think about when I think about fall vegetable gardening. I want to have a container that I can grow my vegetables in, and then when cold weather threatens, I can carry them into a spot where they're protected. Plant selection is important when you start a fall garden because we know that cold weather is coming. So the plants that we choose can either grow quickly before the cold weather comes, or they can handle some of that cold weather. So like in this bed where I've got a fall garden started, I've got some fast growing squash and some cucumbers, and I can expect to have a harvest before my first frost date. But when that happens, when the frost and the freeze comes, it's going to kill these plants. And this bed will be done for the season. But I can grow the same or similar plants that might be damaged by the cold in containers and grow them well past that first frost date. I have hot peppers in these bags and tomatoes. So when cold weather threatens, what I'll do is move these bags into a protected area like a shed or a garage that won't get close to that freezing point. And then I bring them out the next day to enjoy the sun, especially in an area like mine, where maybe in late September or early October, we'll get one or two cold nights where the temperature gets close to freezing. And then it warms back up again for another two or three weeks. Well, if you're willing to transport your containers into a warm environment overnight, you can keep growing, get a longer season, even with these plants that would normally be dead in the raised or in-ground beds. The big grow bags and other big pots that might be too heavy to transport, well, I treat them just like small raised beds. And I've even put up a semi-permanent trellis system for these tomatoes. They'll die when the cold hits. But the smaller containers, the 10 to 20 gallon size, are ideal. And if you start growing, cool season plants, the plants that aren't bothered by a little bit of cold, you may not need to transport them in and out as often. I've got some onions started in these bags right here. They can handle cold. I'll take them in during freezing conditions, but for light frost nights, I'll just go ahead and leave them in place. I'll be starting lots of other seeds in these other bags, looking well into autumn for a harvest. I have many more videos in both the container gardening series and in the fall gardening series that break down a lot of these pieces much more specifically. You want a good, well-draining soil that's got some nutrients in it when you do container gardening. And I'll go ahead and link below to some of those other videos to show you how I make my potting soil and how I fill the containers. And the plant selection really should be weighted towards those plants that can handle the cold. Plants like carrots and beets and Swiss chard and spinach and lettuce and radishes. There are so many plants that can handle cold. When you decide to grow them as a fall container garden, you need to think about the size of the plant when it reaches maturity and harvest compared to the size of the container. You can grow beets in a bucket like this, but when you anticipate how big they'll get as they approach harvest, 
you may realize you can only fit six or seven beets in a bucket. But in a wider container, you might be able to grow 12 or 15 beets. And if you use the same thinking with radishes or spinach or lettuce, the wider containers will actually grow a lot more. And depending on the plant, you may not need a lot of soil. Now, beets, as you can see, do best when they have at least six to eight inches of soil. But other plants, like the spinach and the lettuce and the radishes, don't need nearly as much depth. So you've got a lot of options when it comes to the plants. In this square foot gardening bed, I treat each of these squares, 12 inches on each side, as an individual planting plot. So I've got spinach and carrots, and here's a cucumber, there's some turnips, there's chard, there's kale. There's lots of different plants growing in each of these different squares. Well, if you think about container gardening the same way, it's essentially square foot gardening, where each container acts as its own little planting plot, you can grow a large number of different plants. And I'll go ahead and list all the plants that I think are suitable for fall gardening in the description below. When you start plants in spring to grow into summer in containers, one of the biggest issues is that they just dry out so fast, especially the very small containers. The summer heat causes the soil moisture to evaporate, and you may end up watering definitely once a day, often two or three times a day, depending on the plant and the size of the pot. But for fall container gardening, you don't have that issue as much because the temperatures are cooler during the day and the sun's a little bit lower in the sky. So you may get by with watering every two or three days in your containers in the fall, just because they're not drying out nearly as fast as they are in the summer. I have most of my containers, my grow bags and my pots, in the middle of my garden area because at this time of year when I'm watering the raised beds and the in-ground beds it's very easy to just bring the hose over and water the containers. But as we get closer to those cold temperatures to the potential freeze I'll move all of the containers that I want to protect closer to the house. And the reason I'll do that is because I don't want to work any harder than I have to. So there's a lot of space between the garage and my garden. And the garage is where I'm planning to put a lot of these containers overnight. I have a lot of space in front of the garage and on the deck. So as we get closer to those cold temperatures, I'll just bring all the containers and set them all up in this space. That way, they'll still get the sun. I can still water them as a group, but it's just an easy step or two to the garage to put all of these plants. I'm not having to carry everything in and out hundreds of feet. Make it easy on yourself. I'm making it easy on myself. In, out in the morning, and the containers and the plants will be fine. I will also modify how I'm growing in my green stock or vertical planter system. This is a series of individual modules of containers that are just stacked up vertically. And right now, I've got some basil and some peas and some parsley and some other herbs on the other side. And as these modules open up, these little pots, I'll go ahead and put in seeds of spinach and kale, the hardier vegetables that can handle some cold conditions. Because I'm not planning on moving this into the garage. It's going to stay outside. But I will move it closer to the house because the radiant heat off of the house will help keep this system warmer longer. It's going to be outside, but right next to the house, those hardy vegetables should do fine for a long period after my first frost date comes. Now it does work well if you can start your seeds or put your plants in during the summer to grow into fall for that autumn harvest. But don't feel limited if you just don't have the containers yet. I've got the tomatoes and the peppers growing in them. But when that cold hits, the tomatoes will die, the peppers will die, and I'll pull them out. And now I have containers available for planting again. 
So by choosing the right types of plants like lettuce and radish that will be ready to harvest maybe in just 30 days, I can get a whole new crop in these containers. And as long as I'm willing to bring them out during the day so they can get some sun and then move them in at night so they don't get frozen, well, I can have a container fall vegetable garden for many, many months until it just reaches the time when I get too tired or the daytime temperatures get too cold. To learn more about fall gardening and container gardening, well then click on one of these videos right here or check the description below for a lot more options. They will definitely help you on your journey to become a better gardener. I'm Gardener Scott. Enjoy gardening.